Well, hi, I'm Deb Villaris. Most recently, I had someone contact me about their tadpoles dying in their pond that they had used basic H in and couldn't understand how that could have happened. And I thought maybe I'd just show you the science behind how that happened. When those tadpoles were exposed to basic H, the poor things actually drowned because what it does is it makes the water wetter. I know, science term, water wetter. It's a surfactant. Makes water wetter. And because of that, it does allow their gills to be able to function correctly. So I thought in a demonstration, I would show you exactly how that happens and what a surfactant does. So if you come down here to my piece of paper, I have some drops of water already there, but I'm gonna add some more just so you can see exactly what happens. These, wa this, these drops of water have been sitting here for some time now, and I'm adding a few more. And notice, um, as I, touch, as I touch these drops of water that have surface tension, as you see with this toothpick, they continue to remain drops of water, just like rain. Raindrops with another raindrops becomes a drop of water. And in this clear bowl, I'm going to put some basic H in there, just drop some actual basic H in the bowl. And I'm going to touch that same toothpick with some basic H to show you exactly what happens, what a surfactant does as I touch, oops, Oops, as I touch each water drop, notice how it runs and how concentrated it is because as you can notice, I continue dropping each one of the drops and you can see that it just continues rolling down the paper, the side of the paper, showing you just how concentrated and how basic H breaks down the surface tension. So now you can understand, see how it just, now the other part is notice how it soaks deeply, deeply into that brown paper. So that's how those poor tadpoles drowned, is because their gills uh, became so wet, they couldn't breathe through them. There couldn't be an oxygen-hydrogen exchange. So it worked very similar in so many different circumstances. What I'm going to do is the next time, I, I'm going to show you some ways you can use basic H out in the garden and how it works so well doing that. Until next time, I'm Deb Bill Reese, and you can check me out at BellaWellnessLiving.com.